Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. And we've got uh, another one from Fighters of World War II. We haven't done one of these for a little while. It is from Atlas Editions in 172nd scale. It is a, a Mischer Schmidt BF110E. Well, I'm hoping that's what's inside this box. It is uh, from Zestoya Gashwara 1, a Wespen, or the, the Wasp Destroyer Wing. And this particular aircraft is flown by Herbert Kutscher. And this is from when he was in uh, Russia in 1942. Um, he was a Luftwaffe fighter ace and Knight's Cross recipient and one of the very few German pilots to actually survive the whole war. He um, he served from 1939 all the way through to 1945 and he did fly over 900 combat missions and did end the war with 47 aerial victories. And six of those were four inch bombers as well and he would actually destroy another 44 aircraft on the ground uh, other ground targets also did include 41 tanks uh, 15 locomotives destroyed 11 uh, artillery positions and 157 vehicles on both the western and eastern fronts of course uh, herbert would pass away in 2003 aged 86 and i picked this up uh, a little while ago actually off ebay yes uh, 40 dollars and so it is the typical sort of um, one. You can see the, well, it is the Mr. Schmidt, so we've got it sitting in here. It's uh, the sort of a more of a budgety type rendition that uh, these Atlas types are. They do have their landing gear and everything there and the propellers that need to be put on. It does have a base and a stand underneath there and some instructions as well. Um, so that is um, pretty good. So what we'll do, hey, we'll get this out of the packet and have a real good look at it. So we will quickly actually just get this open on camera. Do it, do it old school from when I was uh, used to open all these up on the video when I first started the channel. And we'll quickly get this Mischer Schmidt out of the packet and move this packet out of the way and have a real good look at this really white aircraft. <laughs> so hopefully we will be able to... Um, to have a look at those details, considering we do have a light background as well, and uh, unfortunately this aircraft is quite light, so I'm hoping it'll come through very nicely through uh, this camera, and the background won't absorb too much of the aircraft. So we'll jump straight in and, and see if we can have a look at some of those uh, panel details. These Atlas ones are, as I said, a, sort of a more of a budgety sort of feel to them. They're not overly highly detailed or have a lot of transfers or anything like that they they are a good sort of if you're a, a younger collector and you do want to get your hands on a Mischer Schmidt 110 uh, these are sort of good ones to grab and um, you know not expensive like Corgi or your Hobby Master and stuff like that and I, I think overall this is a, a pretty good rendition of course and we'll uh, you can see the little wasp at the front uh, that is synonymous with the ZG-1 Wespen group. Uh, they all have that marking on their aircraft. They uh, flew 110s as well as uh, 109s as well, all in the sort of the ground attack role. But uh, one thing I did notice, well, it's got his aerial markings on there, but it does not have the, uh, the swastika tail marking, which is quite common uh, for some manufacturers to sort of uh, delete that. But that is no big deal. If you are fussed about that, you can always get yourself a, a decal and chuck that on to make it um, historically accurate. So, but I reckon it, you know, it is pretty good. It doesn't come with any pilots or anything like that. That uh, cockpit is empty. There is no Herbert sitting in the front, and his rear gunner is nowhere to be seen. So, I reckon it does does look quite presentable. With this all white finish. It's sort of a little bit uh, greyish as well. It's not a stark white, uh, which I I don't mind that at all. And I think it does does look quite presentable. It does have you know some little decals for the fuel and, and everything on there, which is not bad. It does have some sort of slight engine detail with the exhaust. And of course, we do need to put those propellers on. And what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll turn it over, and it does have that uh, sort of a, a different shade of uh, a green blue underneath here. It does have that uh, yellow identification band that goes all around the fuselage, as well as on the wing tips there, as you can see. I think it's not too bad. As I said, budget, it's a $40 die cast, so it's, uh, you know, grand scheme of things, as I say. It is relatively cheap, and I think it's not too bad overall. Um, so what, what we'll do is, while we've got it turned over, we'll, we'll quickly uh, 
put some landing gear and gear bay doors on it, obviously, and uh, come right back and have a look at the finished aircraft. Okay, here we have uh, Herbert Kutcher's Mischer Schmidt BF-110E all set up. It is pretty straightforward. These ones are quite basic. They just have the um, the sort of a very basic uh, landing gear that drops straight in, and then these uh, gear bay doors are in a, a sort of one piece that slides over that. The wheels don't spin. There's not a ton of detail. They are very, very basic, and you do drop this tail wheel in, of course, and then you put this uh, the aerial array, antenna arrays here. You whack those on, and, of course, the uh, propellers, you put those on and then um, the top aerial layer, you just chuck that on as well and it is all done. It all spins quite freely. The The coloration of the propellers look pretty good. The, the overall, once it's all done, it is, look, it's a fairly um, representable uh, aircraft. It does come up reasonably nice. Uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. As I said, these are a budget one. They, um, you know, are not meant to be super high quality. Otherwise, you'd be paying more than $40. But these are very presentable. They will sit nicely on your shelf, and uh, they are a great starter for your collection if you're, uh, you know, just first dabbling into the world of die cast, I suppose. These are, you know, pretty well priced and, you know, straightforward to be assembled. And, of course, if you want to put on the stand, it does come with that stand that does have the details of the aircraft on there. And, of course, you just whack it in that hole there, straight forward, and then job done. Try not to bend that aerial too much. And that is your Mischer Schmidt BF-110E, all set up, ready to go. And I do reckon she is not too bad. Of course, it does come with this little set of instructions as well that, to help you in your assembly. And, of course, if you want to gear up, it's just this little pieces, of course, and you just whack them under the engine nail cells. And uh, I reckon, look, this is quite a, quite a you know, reasonable looking uh, die cast model, um, depending on your um, fuss level, really. If you want uh, super, super detailed, just head straight for your um, Corgi or your Hobby Master versions. But if you're, you know, happy with this kind of level of detail, I, I wouldn't hesitate to grab one. I reckon that's not too bad. So once again, this is Fighters of World War II. It's 172nd scale die cast, of course. It is Atlas Editions, and it is the aircraft phone by Herbert Kutscher from uh, his period in ZG-1 or Zestroya Geschwader 1, Wespen, during their time in the Russian front on, in 1942. And I reckon this one does set up pretty good. And I'm, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. So what I'll do is I'll take um, some photos of Herbert's aircraft and chuck them up at the conclusion of the video, which is winding up now, of course. And you can check them out without my fat ass fingers in the way. And uh, you can see the you know, sausage finger test. It is a reasonably sized aircraft. If you know your heavy twin engine fighters, that is the 110. All right, guys, thank you so much, of course, for spending your valuable time watching the video. I do appreciate it immensely. All right, guys, I will, uh, I've waffled on enough. I will say goodbye and uh, thank you once again. You all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.